Today is a new series day. I'm so excited. I love starting new series. I love watching when people start new series. And I got your feedback from our last LP. And the general consensus is you want less storytelling, but more challenge gameplay. Yeah. I'm a storyteller at heart, so we're still gonna do some storytelling. Uh. It's just me. But I've come up with, I think, an original challenge, which I'm really excited to tell you guys about. It's called the Haunted Abandoned House Challenge. And I'm about to tell you guys all about it. But first, let's meet our characters. So I was kind of inspired to do like a dad and a daughter scenario. Yes, this sim looks a little bit like Joel from Life is Strange 2. I love Joel. So this is Eric Greenberg. He is an adult. He just wants to be a super parent. He wants to bring up his daughter. He's a maker, so we're gonna get him into woodworking, a perfectionist, and he's obviously family-oriented. And then his daughter is Tora. She's going to be a collector because I haven't really done much collecting in the game and I feel like I wanna do some of that. She's a loner and loves the outdoors. And I really wanted Tora not to be like the typical girly girl that I often do as a sim. She's a lot more like chill. So those are our sims, but let's get to the challenge. So recently you guys might've seen on the channel that I was setting up an abandoned home challenge, which some of you guys have already done actually, where I showed you guys an abandoned home that is actually this house, but I've changed it a little bit. And basically the challenge was, you wanna bring the house back to its original glory. But then I was like, you know what? I wanna make this challenge more detailed. So yes, my Sims are gonna bring this house back to its former glory, but there's a few extra things involved. One, this is a haunted house lot, and until the house is brought back to its original form, it will remain haunted, thanks to the paranormal stuff pack. And then the other thing is, the furniture or the existing furniture is actually already in here, but it's all burnt. Do you know how much fun I had burning all of this furniture? It was like the best day ever. So what we actually have to do is make money from scratch to pay to replace all the furniture. And then in terms of the wallpaper, I've left clues for which wallpaper should be in each room. So we'll need to replace that wallpaper, curtains. And I also took some pictures of paintings that I want to bring back to this house as well. So I think bringing the house back to its original shape is like over 100,000 smolens. It's actually a really hard challenge potentially. And of course we have to clean up all the junk, fill in some of the empty walls. And then of course there's upstairs. There's just so much stuff. I know it's really hard to see. And I thought this challenge would be fun because it's like Halloween month and you guys like spooky things. I don't, but I feel like I needed to do something a little bit spooky, hence the haunted house part. And then these are the floor tiles, which we'll need to replace as well. So I'm so excited for this. There's also another aspect of the challenge, which is in the graveyard over here, we have some Sims who have passed away and we need to bring them back to life as well. So you wanna bring the ghost back, to live in their original home, in its original condition. And then if we wanna go really far with the challenge, I know I'm getting a little bit carried away. I also wanted to see if I could have one version of every plant in the game. That might be something we should do on live streams actually. <laughs> but you know, if we wanted to do another version of this challenge, maybe we could add that. I mean, you could add collectible rooms and everything that you have to complete. I mean, there's so much we could do with this challenge. Not to mention we should manicure the garden. Uh-oh. <laughs> Grim, why are you here already? I think he's left over from when I killed all the Sims. He's like, why am I in your game? Goodbye. <laughs> that is a grim start to the challenge. Oh, there's also not meant to be a treadmill here. I was just trying to kill an elder Sim to bury them in the backyard. So I think we could either start with zero dollars or we could start with like 1800, which I'm pretty sure is the original amount you start with in the legacy challenge. So I feel like that's fair. And I guess if you wanna talk about storytelling, oh my gosh, they're already cleaning up. Oh, that's so cute. He's already cleaning up the house. Her dad bought this house after her mom died and it's like his project to fix it up. Oh, we should have buried her mom in the backyard. That would have been so creepy. And uh, she'll obviously have to go to school. So Eric will be focusing on the most, but you know, we'll, we'll make it work in time. And then when she ages up, oh, the other thing is I wanna put the game options 
on short gameplay because I know Lil Simsy has been doing this for a challenge and a lot of you guys were saying it was really interesting and honestly, I don't think I've ever played short lifespan before in a series. Um, so it means we'll be aging up pretty quickly. In fact, how long until we age up? 12 days until he'll, he's an elder, six days into yeah. uh, one week? Good Lord. Okay, well, we need to get started. Um, I guess, first of all, you know, we, oh, we can't even clean this up. Okay, we've got to do that manually. <laughs> I thought they could pick up that rubbish. So I guess first up, what we want to do is have somewhere for them to sleep. So there's already one squatter bed in the house. I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh dear, okay, so this light, oh my God. I think this light is burnt. Okay, well that's for starters, just uh, put a lamp up here. And then I guess we can move these wooden crates, move this burnt furniture out of the way. Oh, I just saw there's some candles here we could have lit as well. Okay, kind of put this furniture in this room for now. We get one more bed that we can put just like over here so they can kind of camp out upstairs. It would be nice to replace the toilet. How much is this toilet replacement? 460 simoleons. Oh, that was harsh. We can use the sink, which is a good thing. And this bathtub, uh, ideally we wanna put a bathtub there. But the other thing is we're gonna need to be able to eat food. So how much is it to replace this kitchen? 500 simoleons to replace the fridge to have food. Worth it and it's 320 to replace one counter to cook on. So you can you can see how just bit by bit we're able to unlock a few things, but most of this stuff is so expensive. It's gonna take some time. The other thing I was thinking of is maybe we can start going and collecting or fishing and we can try and get the woodworking table. Also, if we have a seance table, that will help us manage the haunting features of the house as well. But for now, we'll be able to make some candles. So this is 750 small lines. I say we save for this and we'll just have to go shower elsewhere, I guess. So let's see what's around um, collectible wise, plant wise. I don't know if any plants have spawned yet. Oh, what's this? It's a present. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Also, can we appreciate this lot? Like this literally is where a creepy house would be sitting. Like this suits this area so well. Okay, so we found a limestone. Oh, whoa. Oh, let's extract this fossil. What did we, oh, we got two fossils. Nice. Oh, perfectly preserved mustache. That's so good. So even though I'd love to keep these, we do need the money. So I guess that's a luxury that we may have later in life. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, yes. We can have some cherries. What's over here? Uh, I've got some wild catnip. Not my fave, but that's okay. Pear tree. We actually already... Oh, yes, yeah, she does like gardening. That'll help us. That means she'll be happy whenever she gardens. Um, okay, so she's got those harvestables. We do have some apple trees as well in the graveyard. Yes, there's some decomposing decomposting bodies for fertilizer. Is that messed up to say, or is that just the truth? Maybe it would help, maybe it doesn't help. Am I messed up? And then of course, it's going to definitely be a good idea to start planting some stuff. Where is the best place to kind of start a little orchard? Excuse me, what are you doing? He's like, yay, I'm in a creepy old house. And why would you, why would you do this? You would get so wet and cold and ruin your shoes. But you know, people do funny things when they're mourning. We'll just do it here for now. So how many of these do we want to do? We either sell what we have now, which cherries are worth a fair bit, I thought. Can't see. I love that he's just living his best life in the water. We could sell that for 64 simoleons, which is pretty good. Or we could plant them and get more in a couple of days. It's always difficult knowing. Oh, Tora has completed out and... Oh, that was quick. Uh, and then we have the catnip. I mean, we'll plant one catnip because we want to potentially have one of each flower. And in terms of school, I feel like it's just not our priority to do really well with school. Oh, we don't have a trash can. We need a trash can. All right, I might journey out a little bit. Maybe we can go down to the beach and look to see if there's any more collectibles. 
Ooh, or maybe around the lighthouse. So a lot of people don't know at the lighthouse is actually a pet cemetery. So you can see pet ghosts. Um, and because we're in Brindleton Bay, I imagine at some point we may want to adopt a stray because I just feel like Tora and Eric are those kind of sims. They would love animals. Oh, look, it's already blue, the stray. Damn it, why you gotta pull on my heartstrings like that? Let's maybe just do a cautious introduction. Why are you hanging around the graveyard? Maybe it's looking for bones. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so morbid today. Ooh, what's this? Get you to dig for this. I mean, the thing is, Tora has the collectible, yeah, collector trait. So she is more likely to find stuff. Ooh, maybe we could get Eric to go fishing. I feel like he'd be good at fishing or interested at least. Actually, where is the pet cemetery? I can see why no one knows it's here. Cause like, where the heck is it? I have problems. I cannot see it. Oh, wow. It's okay. It's way over here. You know what? I knew about this, but I don't think I've ever actually seen this. I definitely knew about it. This is so cool. I mean, it's sad, but it's cool. Maybe I am getting into Halloween. Okay, I kind of want to read some of these. Oh my gosh. What is in this? Oh, I, oh, I thought it was a bag. <gasps> but someone had left there like a mysterious bag on top of a graveyard. Like the graveyard keeper forgot to put it in the ground, but it's actually just a rock. I'm spooking myself out in this graveyard. Let's read some of these. See if there's any messages on them. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, that's so peaceful. Oh my Lord, what's in here? <gasps> we have to like put something in here. I don't know what, I don't know when, but we gotta put something in there. Now what's, oh, we're not finding much good stuff. Common, common. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna sell all of these. Oh, upgrade parts can be handy. Let's extract that fossil. <laughs> Eutranium, sell that. And yeah, we could use the market table, but oh, Eric's not crafty enough for this fish. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. You're trying to live your dreams of being like an outdoorsy guy. It's surprising he has no skills in fishing or gardening or anything like that when it's his dream. But hey, he's a sim. Sometimes they just have no skills for their whole life. And then one day it just magically clicks that they can learn to do things. Is there anything on there? Once sneezy and wheezy, now breezy, sleep so easy. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Once sneezy and wheezy, they had like asthma. Now breezy sleeps easy. Maybe their name was breezy and now they, they went to sleep. Oh, we really need to go pee somewhere. Oh my God, here lies Dizzy, nine lives well lived. Oh, 1927 to 1940, 1940 to 1947, 1947 to 1958. That's, must be a cat. Very impressive. Whoa, this place is popping off. Oh yes, can we make food? Oh, there's no fridge here. Okay, I guess we can have a coffee. Oh, imagine if we could just swipe the paintings for our house. Ooh, maybe we should become a klepter. Oh, keep in mind there's also lilies here, which are worth a lot of money. Well, we have one more digging spot. If we could just get something super rare, that would be great. Okay, we got a time capsule. Please be super rare and get us to, what did we need for the woodworking table? 750? <gasps> we got two of these for 150 small ends. That's a pretty good outcome. Not to mention these, which we can also sell. Guys, we might actually have enough simoleons. I think we just made enough simoleons. Yes. This is reminding me of Life is Strange. Um, the stormy skies, the creepy lighthouse. If they go to the top of it, we can have like a father-daughter moment up here where they're like, we're gonna do amazing things. Oh, and he did manage to catch a fish. Good for you. Oh, look at them at the top of the lighthouse. This is also something a lot of people didn't know you could do. Hey, let's have a little hug up here. Oh, it's so cute. You know, with the ocean in the background. What a moment. What a beautiful picturesque moment. Okay, let's go home and spend our hard earned cash. Well, we didn't really earn it, we found it. But to find it, we earned it by the energy we put in looking for it. <laughs>
Okay, back to our haunted house, which also becomes very haunted at night time. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I don't want them to eat until we have a woodworking table. Our money making before your needs. Oh, it's $750. Oh, that's what I said. Okay, well, I guess somewhere undercover would be ideal. Hmm, we'll put it over here, just outside the kitchen. Oh, good, and we still have 11 simoleons to make some food with. Uh, we can only have cold food, but that works for me. The other thing that I thought would be fun with this challenge, hey! I thought it'd be cool for you guys if you did this challenge and downloaded this lot when you... Oh, welcome to the haunted house. <gasps> I thought it would be cool every time you guys reveal the furniture, you'd be like, I wonder what it's going to be. But when I uploaded it to the gallery and downloaded it, I realized that the burnt items are erased. So if you guys know any way to get around that so I can share the house so you guys can do the challenge as well, let me know in the comments down below. In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. I don't know if I said that right. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. I can handle this. Yeah, he can handle it. You're feeling somewhat courageous. Any rational mind would be afraid, but hey, you do you. Well, I do feel courageous. And I mean, we don't have to do the haunted house part of this challenge if you guys don't like it. But I just thought with the whole Halloween month, it, it would be fitting, you know? Oh, I totally forgot that we were planting these. <laughs> we should probably get to that. Ah, uh, what a nice evening. Actually, what season is it? It's summer. Oh yeah, and it's warm. So that it would be a really nice like sea breeze, warm evening. That's beautiful. And she loves gardening, which is great because she has fun doing it. Also view from the lighthouse um, makes them happy. I didn't realize that. Gives them a happy moodlet. What, you only made salad for yourself, Eric? Seriously? That's so rude. Oh, we can scavenge for parts. Damn it, I should have done that with the other ones. Okay, he's feeling pretty tired. Oh, and he did not finish the cooking. Oh, what a waste of money. Now we can't, well, we can't use these tomatoes that have been out for, well, actually in sim time, probably an hour and a half. Oh, happy, 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 happy Spectre. See, the, the good thing with Spectres is you can get free stuff from them. If they're happy, you can. And he now feels playful, so he's, he's feeling good. So, uh, how are you doing? If I saw this in a haunted mansion, I don't know if I'd be scared or if I'd be like, oh, it's so cute. Oh, we need to offer something. Mm. If we offer our soul, it'll just drain our energy. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, dang it. Oh, it's back. Look, we'll offer our soul if you can give us something to sell for some money. How's that sound? Drain my energy, please. <laughs> he made his fruit so poorly. Yeah, take my soul in this neatly made box. Oh, it liked that. Oh, what did it leave us? It left us with Spectre Sip. Oh, I don't think this does much for us. Can we sell it there? We can't even sell it. Well, that's a shame. Oh, well, well, let's get you two to bed. Sleep tight, nighty night. And hopefully we don't get too spooked. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, it's Olga. This is a sim I tried to kill on the treadmill, but it didn't really work. I would be so scared sleeping here. Oh my gosh, and now it's storming as well. Oh, good Lord. <gasps> there's, a, there's a happy specter down here as well. I might offer our soul to this one. And also the more things we like mop up, the more likely the spirituality of this house will be more positive so we can reap the benefits from it. Yeah, take my soul and I will take a gift from you. It likes our soul. Oh, what's this? Soul scrap. Okay, if we want to feel rejuvenated, we can snack on this. Oh, we can sell to an oddity collector for 500 simoleons? Girl, let's get that money. Oh my gosh. We feel sad all of a sudden. Oh my God, look at these ghosts helping clean up stuff. They're breaking stuff and helping clean up. I guess they just want to help clean up. Hello, Desmond Longoria. Oh dear. Oh, oh my gosh, he's, he's inside of us. I feel chilly. <sighs> I mean, we should be nice to the ghosts because eventually we want to bring them back to life. So how's it going? Uh, nice to see you all. I'm just going to head back up to bed uh, with peace and love. Good night. Oh my gosh. 
we only have 24 hours to pay our bills. We're not gonna be able to pay our bills. So we'll just be eating cold food. Oh my gosh, I almost pressed for a pair on that. So even though Tori is living in this godforsaken house, she still needs to go to school. He's like, look, doll, I'll fix the toilet for you. She's like, dad, I'm gonna be late. He's like, hold on. <laughs> Why did I agree to come here? That's the only problem with the ghost. I'm pretty sure if we make Gerba. friends, Marvel. she's like, dad, get out of here. How about you go get something to eat, buddy? I know we're late for school. I don't want to answer the phone. Let's just wash our hands. We'll bathe ourselves in this and then we'll go to school. I've showered in a sink before. It's actually like not that bad. You can clean yourself up. Oh, I have a good day at school. Damn, we really need a bin. I'm actually going to get a bin just so we can start cleaning this place up. Oh, if we get this, then we can rummage for stuff in the dumpster and sell it. That would be pretty awesome. Maybe I'll save for that. Yeah, we're not paying $1,000 worth of bills. We're going off grid, folks. We start crafting some sculptures. You gotta start somewhere, folks. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's start firing this thing up. Ooh, and it would be nice to be able to have some hot food. It's hard to know what to prioritize first. Oh, that knife is creeping me out as well. It's like, hmm, I should make a pirate ship. I gotta get that skill up. You know, wood carving is pretty amazing. If you can wood carve, that is a great skill. He is a maker. So he finds joy. What did we make, Eric? Oh, oh dear. List on Plopsy. Oh dear, I think we'll just sell it. Let's just sell it and never talk about this again. <laughs> See if we can come up with something a little bit better. Oh, we, we did the exact same thing. Well, oh, good man. He's cleaning, he's cleaning this up. Now the good thing is, even though everything will break really regularly because of the ghosts, it still increases our handiness skill, which will help us with our sculptures. So repairing stuff is actually going to help us make money. <gasps> we can craft furniture. Ooh, uh, we'll just go for the most expensive things. And we also get upgrade parts, which is awesome too. Oh, he's looking way more confident now. Oh, and Tora's home from school. Welcome to your lovely home, Tora. Oh, she is in a mood. She's not happy. Oh gosh, the poor thing. I mean, I wouldn't be happy either if I was coming home to a haunted house while it was storming and everything was dirty. What? We have a chicken? Since when do we have a chicken? Well, we can't afford a hen house, so I'm sorry, little chicken. You'll have to go to another home. We have to continue with our job of collecting things. I know it's not pleasant, but believe you me, believing you me, believe me you, it'll be worth it. It just takes a little time to get started. Oh gosh, no! Oh, that looked like it hurt. She is like, she's really not happy, you guys. And all we got was upgrade parts, seriously. Oh, <gasps> Tina, Tina Tinka. Oh, 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 so many things happening. Okay, hold on. We need to offer our soul, offer our soul. Present offering? No, we're not giving you our, our woodwork. I'd rather give you my soul than my woodwork. And then Tina, we would love you to fix some stuff. Okay, here's my soul. What did we get? Oh, okay, we got, a bizarre idol. Oh, he wards off any supernaturals. School is stupid. I mean, it seems stupid right now when she's learning to garden and do other stuff that school doesn't teach you. I should just be able to start working or living life. I know, can I never go to school again? Well, her dad's gonna be like, yeah, well, school teaches important things. He's like, no, it doesn't. He's like, I know, but you have to go. Your mother would have wanted you to go. So, you want to have these around for when temperance comes. Okay, who's this person? Arvin? Okay. Is this our new friend? I mean, he's pretty cool. He's got uh, some good piercings. Oh, he likes pets so much. He has a, a paw shaven into his head. Okay, I feel bad that he's outside in the rain. So let's just invite you in. I don't know why he came over there. Did we get anything from our specter? What is this? <gasps> This is good, wreath wax. So this, we can create sacred candles with, which will keep bad stuff away. You know, I, I don't think this place is gonna be so bad after all. We can put our candles up. Look at that, isn't that nice? And our candles over here. 
Candles in the kitchen. It's all good. He's like, yo, I heard this is the haunted house and you guys just moved Marcus. here. Is it really as haunted as everyone says it is? I go to school with you. I'm in your math class. It's teaching your manners, that's good. Uh, we don't really have any power yet. It's it's not connected. And stuff keeps going out here. It's really annoying. Okay, let's wash our hands 50 times to get clean. Where I guess he can hang around our house if he really wants to. Oh my gosh, Tina already. Trying to get her greasy mitts on our haunted house. I guess the neighbors would find this place pretty interesting. I mean, I'd want to meet these people who moved here. Oh no, Gildry's here. Hello there, the name's Gildry. It looks like you could use some help. I'm actually not sure we really need to meet Gildry. I mean, he's kind of a cool guy, but we can actually turn him off if we want to. I mean, let me know in the comments down below. He is a cool guy. He's a nice ghost. He doesn't break stuff. Maybe, maybe we can get something from him. I don't know if he gives us oh, presents. Yep. Okay, she's asleep. We have our sacred candles. Oh, and Gildry will give us some um, social needs. Bit awkward that he came into the bathroom. But hey, Eric needs some social time, so if he can make friends with a ghost, that's great. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to end this first part here. Let me know what you think of this challenge and if you have any ideas. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Ta-ta!